Right, time for another super speedy fast quick tip. So four minutes, trampoline. Let's go for a disc and let's turn on ground shading with lines. And right, let's add a few more segments to this. Now let's just rotate that round. Let's also add a few here. Now, the problem with this, if we use this as the trampoline base, it will be a lot softer here where these where this geometry is really concentrated. So this is not good. This is good for spider webs, but it's not good for even topography and like even segments. So what do we do is we grab our, uh, where is it, remesh. Right, so we put the disc in the remesh and we need to change a few things here. We need to click on instant mesh to give us this grid, but we also then need to uh, tick here where it says keep outline. So uh, maybe the poly count, let's bring that down to say a thousand. Okay, that'll do it. So now we've got this nice outer rim, which is gonna connect perfectly. So that's the first step. Second step is we need a torus, which is gonna act as the rim. So let's bring that down quite small like that. Let's, let's actually bring the disc size down to 95. So it's away from the rim. Let's go back to the torus now and let's increase the ring segments to say 50. Right, so now let's, on the remesh, let's right click and say connect and delete, right? So we've got our two pieces. Let's call that one rim and let's call this one the rubber because this is the, the rubber part of the trampoline. Right, let's highlight them both, right click and simulation tags cloth. On the rim, on the cloth, we need to pin it, 100% pin it so it doesn't move. And we also need to right click and add a connector okay now on the rubber we need to change a few things here on the bendiness let's have one on bendiness 10 on stretchiness now the target length we need to bring right the way down to only two percent right that's going to give us the tension for this and we need to change the collider side to front and let's also change the thickness to say 0.2 go back to the rim and let's turn on update live and let's add more search radius so then if we press play again you see that it snaps in you know like it's got springs on it let's put in an object that we're going to bounce around on it so a cube let's shrink it down and what i like to do is just add a little bit of fillet to that to make it a bit rounder and then let's lift it up and let's have a look let's add cloth to that and let's take out the bendiness and let's say, let's add five on the mass and collide with the front, right? So we're making, we're making this object heavier because the mass on the rubber is only one and the mass on the cube is five. So this should be a much heavier object now colliding with it. So if we press play, now the reason it drops straight through the bottom is we need to go control D and we need to add more iterations we only have one so it can't work out these calculations so let's let's put that up to 10 let's get passes at three extra iterations at three and let's also check the the end frame pass for some extra as well let's try that it'll be a bit slower but it will grab onto it and there we go we've got this absolutely lovely trampoline there is your four minute quick tip for today. There'll be another one in a day or two. I've got a really good one coming up. Stay tuned. My name is Mike German from Visual Animation. Take care. Goodbye for now.